I now request the distinguished delegate of Uruguay. Madam President of the General Assembly, Madam Secretary General, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Madam President, Uruguay congratulates you for your assumption as the President of the 71st session of the UN General Assembly. Uruguay, one of the founder states of the United Nations, sees its fundamental principles of its foreign policy totally reflected in the charter of this organization. That's why we understand that it is relevant to reaffirm the importance that has acquired its effective use in the present international context, the traditional Uruguayan position of its support to the position of human rights and its commitment to oppose terrorism. Terrorism has become the most unnatural, dehumanizing, and politically destabilizing phenomenon of the 21st century. Terrorist movements are neither radical nor revolutionary. They are destructive and usually stem for the feeling of revenge. Madam President, while renewing its firm commitment in the fight against terrorism, Uruguay reiterates its reje rejection to all terrorist acts. We finally condemn all attacks against civil population as well as attacks against infrastructure whose destruction directly or indirectly affects civil population. Terrorism must be clearly condemned, must must increase cooperation among states with the aim to prevent that such attacks remain unpunished, but at the same time making sure that fight against terrorism is based on the rule of law and with due respect to international humanitarian law and human rights. Madam President, Uruguay is deeply concerned about the growing radicalization of youth in the Middle East and the brutalities committed by the Islamic State. This organization poses a greater threat to the international community, democracy, and human rights. ISIS has been involved in the beheading of individuals, abductions, rapes, sex uh, slavery, trafficking, ethnic cleansing of Shias, Yazidis, and Christians. ISIS has been expanding their presence. Recent attacks on Charlie Hebdo in France, Belgium airport, and assaults on Jews, especially in Europe, proves this point. Uruguay feels that the time has come to give them a befitting replay. We urge United Nations to impose more economic sanctions on the ISIS and to send peacekeeping forces to the affected regions. Madam President, Uruguay is deeply concerned about the terrorist organizations getting access to nuclear weapons. As a gesture for peace, UN should consider nuclear disarmament as a serious issue. Uruguay deeply condemns the abduction of 200 schoolgirls by the Nigerian terrorist organization Boko Haram and Hamas using weapons of mass destruction against the civilians of Israel. And the spread of radical jihad to South Asia, South America, and Oceania regions. UN should make sure that states never use terrorism except proxy war against other states, just like what Pakistan is doing. Madam President, as a result of its strict attachment to international law, Uruguay is firmly committed with the consolidation of peace and international security. Thus, it is demonstrated by the condition of being one of the 10 biggest and highest per capita contributors of troops to the peacekeeping operations of the United Nations. Our country participates at the moment 16 of the 18 peacekeeping missions unfolded by the UN in America, Africa, Europe, and Asia. From the beginning of this participation in these missions at the present time, Uruguay has been accumulating experience in matters linked to the reconstruction and consolidation of peace in the areas devastated by conflicts, unfolding enormous efforts to end hostilities so that different communities could reach peace and obtain national reconciliation. Let there be peace and prosperity everywhere. Thank you. God save us all. Thank you.